tools needed for installation are a seven and eight millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet and extension, a T25 and a T30 torque, and a pick tool. Install time is two and a half hours. Install difficulty is a three out of five. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the four pop clips on the top of the bumper cover located in the engine bay. Remove the hood release cable using a flathead screwdriver. Now raise your Focus ST up. In the fender well, remove the hardware and repeat this on the opposite side. There's a total of four T30 Torx and two pop clips. Remove the six pop clips under the front bumper using a flathead screwdriver. Remove the lower air diverter. There are three T30 Torx holding it in place. Remove the eight T30 Torx holding the plastic under panel in place. Remove the final plastic under panel. There are four T30 Torx holding this panel in place. Unclip the bumper on both sides, but don't fully remove it yet. Remove both headlights. There are a total of four T30 Torx holding them in place. Remove the two remaining T30 Torx bolts on the bumper. Slide the headlight forward and disconnect the electrical connector holding each headlight in place. Remove the bumper. There are two tabs under the headlight that the bumper clips into. Pull up on the tabs to release the bumper. Remove the bumper by lifting it up and forward. Make sure you disconnect the electrical connector for the fog lights before fully removing the bumper. Remove the upper air shroud by releasing the two clips. Remove the lower air shroud. There are two T30 Torx holding the shroud in place. Disconnect the electrical connector for the active grill shutters. Remove the two tree clips.
squeeze the four tabs to remove the bumper guard. Loosen the clamps on the cold and hot side pipes connected to the intercooler. Release the electrical harness for the sensor on the cold side of the intercooler. To disconnect this harness, depress the tab at the top of the clip to separate the two pieces. Remove the two bolts that secure the intercooler to the lower mounts. Use a pick tool to loosen the connection between the pipes and the end tanks on the intercooler. Then, slide each pipe off the port. Tilt the bottom of the intercooler upward and then lower it from the vehicle. Remove the sensor from the end tank on the stock intercooler. Install the sensor removed from the stock end tank onto the Mishimoto intercooler. Secure it with the bolt included in your kit. Install the Mishimoto intercooler, making sure as you lift it into position to slide the tabs on the radiator into the upper intercooler hangers. Then, push the bottom of the intercooler forward and allow it to sit on the mount. Secure the intercooler to the lower mounts using the original bolts. Slide the cold side pipe over top the outlet on the Mishimoto intercooler. Make sure it is fully seated and the clamp is square before tightening it down. Reconnect the electrical harness above the cold side pipe. Install the hot side pipe to the Mishimoto intercooler. Make sure the pipe is fully seated and the clamp is square before tightening it down. Reinstall the bumper guard. It should click into place as shown here. Reinstall the top shroud. This should click into place as well. Reinstall the lower shroud using the two T30 Torx you removed earlier. Reconnect your fog lights and reinstall the bumper cover. Make sure to clip only the front part of the bumper. Reinstall your headlights, but first reconnect the headlight connector on each side. There are two T30 Torx holding each headlight in place. Clip on both sides of the bumper. Reinstall the upper bumper two T30 Torx bolts you removed earlier. Then reinstall the four upper bumper pop clips. Reinstall the hood release cable. Reinstall the hardware for the fender wells on both sides. There should be a total of four T30 Torx and two pop clips. Reinstall the under tray panel using the four T30 Torx and six pop clips you removed earlier. Reinstall the second under panel using the eight T30 Torx you removed earlier. Reinstall the lower air diverter using the three T30 Torx you removed earlier.